Hi guys, okay, we've installed the H7 Lumi and uh, this is a night shot, no lights on, just the monitor and the uh, CPU cooler. Um, I've even turned off the LEDs for the P400. Uh, so let's have a go at the lights effects. Okay, we go to tuning. This is a cam software. We go to tuning. And okay, this is the cryolink. Cryolink H7 Quad Lumi. Edit settings. Okay, so the preset, you get to choose fixed lighting. And once you have fit, you have picked your color. Let's say we go for all right. This is fine. Save changes, and you see that the colors change uh, on the cryo rig uh, logo, as well as the LEDs. Uh, that's lighting up the motherboard. Okay, we change the color to this one. Save changes and. Voila, color change again. All right, we change to white or close to white, and that's what you get. All right, so if you look at this part, this thing, this is just a reflection from the rear fan. Okay, yes, uh, there's a well reflective label there. Okay, we go to breathing. We go to the next. Uh, example of LED effects breathing uh, you choose one color you choose a second one you choose a third one you choose a fourth one you choose a fifth one six and so on and so forth all right so we save changes okay you can go fast up here or you can go slow all right so we go somewhere in between save changes and check out the effects. Breathing. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright, so this is slow breathing. Notice that only the logo, the cryo rig logo, and the LEDs uh, lighting up the motherboard uh, are changing, well, going through the effects. The fan itself is just white. All right, uh, there's just a white LED. It's not RGB at all. All right, because um, actually the fan only has uh, a normal fan header, so there's no additional USB that's connecting to the fan. The USB that's connected to the motherboard that's controlled by the NZXT cam software only controls the LEDs on uh, well, like I mentioned, on the cryo rig logo and the base of the uh, um, fan stack okay let's go to fading fading again you can change your colors choose a couple here let's go with something bluish all right save changes so you light up and you'll slowly fade on and off okay so these are basically just the um, Typical effects you get from an RG RGB strip. All right, so we go to marquee. So this one will just well go on and on and on. You see the light run through the cryo rig alphabets, and then you'll spin down, rotate onto the motherboard. Yeah. So there's some movement. Covering marquee. Next one. So you got a lot of color effects save changes and then so the same thing happens it just rotates i mean the color just rotates around the uh from the top of the cooler down and back in in, in an anti-clockwise motion all right so you can see the colors quite nice actually okay pulse you can change the colors again the blue something white safe 
It just goes bing, bing, bing. See? Blink. 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 Okay, not so exciting. Spectrum wave. Uh, this is quite interesting. The colors will just go <laughs> like a rainbow. <laughs> this is a bit uh, dramatic. Okay, so alternating. Another effect. You got first color, second well, color moving. Let's have a look at this. Ah, uh, okay. This is a bit like Christmas lights. <laughs> okay, so these are the typical presets. Uh, we go down to Smart, the next uh, selection, where you can pick the CPU temperature, and then they've got bands of 20, 30 degrees, 40 degrees, 50 degrees. So you just pick your uh, selection. So at a range of about 30 degrees, it'll be this color, 40 will be blue, 50 will be white, 60 will be red. So right now, we save it. Okay, let's just check temperatures for a while. Dashboard. Okay, so we are about 30 plus, 40. Okay, so it's moving between, okay, so it's about 40 plus. So you see the lighting, you'll just stay at this uh, bluish tone bluish tone. This is quite interesting because if you're running um, well let's say video rendering soft software so you want to see uh, whether your CPU is hot without even looking at uh, hardware monitor or even this uh, NZXT cam software just look at the lights okay, they'll tell you what the color is. GPU temperature same thing uh, just replace GPU with CPU. FPS, uh, well probably if you're playing games, if you're running at 60, you can change your colors to reflect anything. Okay, what is interesting is audio. This one is uh, quite interesting. So I don't have speakers attached to the PC now, because uh, I just installed The motherboard. Okay, let's just play some ridiculous music. That's what's ridiculous these days. Uh, dance. Summer dance. Okay, so we just pick, pick the first one. Okay. We go down to cam. Uh, uh, is it sync? Okay, you can go to level. So based on the levels, save. So there you have it. You want to go to sync. Again, you save. So it basically just moves with the beats of the music. Okay. Music beats are over here. Let me move the camera back a little bit. Okay, so you just well, it just moves according to the video. Uh, let me the audio. Okay, so you go down to bass. Uh, save changes. Wow. So it's a red most of the time. So basically this is just a selection of the uh, RGB colors. A uh, couple things to note. Okay, let me change to something a bit more obvious. Okay, save changes. Okay, so it's at white. I just want to bring the camera a bit closer. Okay. Down and see what the effects light. Let me set up the tripod a little bit. Okay, I'll move the lamp out of the way. Okay, let's try uh, audio, sync, save changes. Alright. 
so without the case lighting it's actually quite bright quite dramatic so it lights up the PC area quite nicely <laughs> okay it doesn't have um, brightness control not that I can see um, based on the software itself okay I'll just show you the software again you can well create profiles okay smart uh, there's no brightness it's just the colors and effects so pretty basic pretty much the same as uh, what you get for a uh, RGB strip okay let me turn on the lights okay so the music is still playing and this is the effects okay so well RGB CPU cooler uh, as far as temperatures are concerned I find that uh, compared with the um, stock CPU cooler if I'm running Cinebench uh, temperatures will go up to about if I remember about 63, 64 then if I'm playing games, uh, it'll be about 61 average, or 60, 61. But once I change to this cooler, Cinebench actually went down to about 40, no, 56, 57. And uh, while gaming, it's about the same temperatures, maybe about 54, 55. So overall, we see about 5 to seven degrees difference uh, the profile I set for the fan curve it's uh, not aggressive it's just standard on the motherboard um, at 70 degrees the fan will go to 100% uh, at about 50, 50 degrees the fan will be about uh, sorry at about 40 degrees the fan will be about um, 30 percent uh, degrees I mean degrees centigrade okay not Fahrenheit uh, so degrees centigrade well I think it's pretty okay uh, noise level mm, frankly with this case it has a tempered glass I can't hear the CPU cooler at all uh, in fact I can't really hear the fans uh, much maybe if I move this move my phone closer I don't know if you can hear anything it's that I more or less idle now playing YouTube videos uh, not much effect okay, you can't hear anything much which is good overall pretty good uh, cooler uh, slightly improved from the normal H7 which only has three heat pipes and rated TDP at 140 watts this one is 160 watts and four heat pipes uh, I think that's about it uh, any questions you can just leave a comment below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can well take care cheers Bye.